Welcome back, my dear friends, to Still Wakes the Deep. Kaz is cold, but there is a heater here. <clears throat> stop. She... Fuck. Stop thinking about it. Just stop thinking about it. Jesus. Much better. Washing helps stop skin disease. That's actually quite true. Same as uh, lift with your knees, not your back. Good advice. Is there anyone here? Hello? If there's anybody here, fucking say something. Okay, phone's this way. Hello? McCleary here. Hi, it's O'Connor. I've got Bruce and Fergus with me. Do you know what's going on? No, but we had something. You need to get out of there. Don't need to talk <clears throat> Listen, something's wrong in engineering. Something's wrong all throughout this it's entire raid. Hear me? O'Connor! Yep, O'Connor's screwed. Home sweet home. I believe I'm gonna book might be something along the lines of I feel like vomiting everything I've ever eaten up. That's amazing. The rain. So pretty. Christmas tree! I can't get this one open. No chance. <clears throat> well, looks like we're going upstairs then. But not very far. This no, 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 he's not here. Would Fuck. be a. I have to go around the crew lounge and try the galley. Please, please be there, mate. I'm just thinking in terms of clean up, this would be an absolute bastard clearing out. But uh, I don't really suspect that that's something Kaz will ever have to deal with. Alright, going through the crew lounge, whether we like it or not. <coughs> Trot. Trot. Is that you in there? George, is that you? I can't hear you, man. Open the door. George, the door's blocked. I Rock Magazine Football Magazine Who's this wee baron on the screen? 
I don't know. This is, um... Doesn't seem like your average sort of this signal screwed, but who knows what they were doing in the 70s. It's before my time, mostly. Well, that's backwards, and I can't be bothered trying to decipher it. It's like a domjot table, which is, um, play domjot, you one. Bit odd. Anyway. Hello? Ah, fuck. It might actually not be a terrible idea to unplug all the Christmas lights. Sure, they're festive. And it's clearly that time of year. But... I don't know. I'm just thinking with everything that's gone wrong already and everything that's about to surely go wrong more... That's a uh, potential fire hazard. Bloody hell, fire! Get in, quick. Thank God you're all right. Jesus, what are you doing in here? What do you think I'm doing in here? What the bloody hell is going on? I don't know. People are dying, Roy. Dead? Who? who who's, who's dead? How? Douglas. Trots, I think. I, I don't know. It's, it's this thing. I, I think it's doing something to people. I don't know what to believe, you know what I mean? I do, I really do. I saw something out on the deck. I didn't stay to look. It just scared the shit out of me. I should barricade the door. We can't hide, Roy. We have to get off this rig right the fuck now. Well, without Rennick say so. Roy, did you hear Rennick? What, you think we're getting evacuated? Yeah, bugger Rennick. We'd everybody back at work if we were at the bottom of the North fucking Sea. <sighs> right. The lifeboats, then? Aye. You stay. Barricade the door. Let me clear a path, and once we're ready to go, I'll come and get you, right? I'll be here, don't worry. Getting some extra prayers in. <coughs> oh, I need them. Cass, um... You, you won't leave me. I say it's bloody terrifying out there. Of course not, Roy. I'm not leaving you, I wouldn't blame you if you did, mate. I mean, just, you've got just... all the food in here for a start. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Get your man upstairs on the case. And I'll see you soon, right? Yeah, he's he's got, at the very least, two massive tins of baked beans here. All the rest of that... Oh, yeah. I didn't see all of that. Yeah. Kidney beans for when the baked beans run out. Custard powder. Highland porridge oats. Roy knows how to make porridge. And I bet it's delicious. Um, anyway. Yes, Roy's got all the food, but remember what Sue's said. You guys are two balls in a ball bag! Hamilton's instant low-fat milk. That sounds disturbing. That looks disturbing, because that's frozen baked beans. Clearly the freezer. Something wrong with that. Anyway. I'm not going that way. Oh, my heat's 
found it. Is it doing that? Yeah, probably. Yeah, didn't think so. <clears throat> Got to get out to the lifeboats. This goes outside. It's too dangerous out there. Is it? Is it really? Okay. Let's go through here then. Because that doesn't look remotely precarious or worrying or heads. And there's a hand there. That's at least two people. Oh, there's an eyeball in there as well. Yeah, there's at least two, possibly three people involved in this. Maybe more. Only t oh, definitely more. Because that's a third head there. So we've got three heads. That's another eye in there. A hand. Huh. I really don't want to walk under that. I think in reality what I would do is I would hop over here. And we're getting weird vision shit happening, getting near it. Starting to wonder if that's maybe a sanity meter or something. Fucking things Some kind of... Stress based thing. Jesus. Ah, ah, Get your heat together, Kaz. Is that... oh, fuck. I'll tell you what it isn't friendly. Beef. <laughs> well, it's actually Christmas Day, according to that calendar. That's awkward. Interesting. <laughs> Lifeboats access. Oh, oh. Shit. Well, that's not friendly. That's just 
not, I'm not going back in there. friendly. And I don't blame you. I don't think I'd want to either. Really don't want to go in there. And can't go in there. I'm not going back in there. Bright sparks, no sparks can kill. Yeah, what was I saying about the Christmas lights? Anyway. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure this thing that's taking over the rig Fleshy and horrible Christ. though it is, is am I gonna get down there? it's just Santa. Just Father Christmas doing his Christmassy thing. And it's nothing to worry about at all. Shite! Boyd, couldn't get through there, and even if I could, it sounds like it would have been more hazardous for me if I had. Even lethal, potentially. I've got a future ex-wife and two kids to go back home to. As, uh, judging from the letter cats received from Sue's. Yeah, that's not good. Fifteen minutes, hey Renick. Someone's not left his office. Absolutely screw this for a lot. <laughs> oh, come on. There's another one. Why? Things I'm quite happy to do in a game that, uh, where it comes with reality, screw that. There's lots of those in this game. Which is brilliant. Jesus Christ. You're gonna have to, don't worry. I also really like that he gets on his hands and knees to crawl over that. That's um, definitely closer to what I would probably do. Now we let go <laughs> the ladder. I love that little mechanic. It's just it's a little thing, oh, but it it works me. so well. Well, heck. Can I at least get a life jacket? Because I'm definitely not wearing one. Easy enough. Remove safety pins from both arm cradles, engage brake lever to swing boat into boarding position, embark crew and visitors, secure hatches and check clear below, lower lifeboat into water, 
start engine and steer away from rig. Okay. This will go smoothly, I'm sure. Halfway out of here. One more. One more. Oh, and not even any life jackets in that life jacket cabinet. Locker, whatever the hell it is. Life jacket storage compartment. He's not storing any life jackets. No! Ah. Oh, that's just brilliant. Perfect. Now, I never thought that I would ever say this, but there's an awful lot of swearing in this game. <laughs> there might actually, th this might be the game with the most swearing. They might actually break a record for this. Possibly. Who knows? That'll be the phone. Let me guess, it's Rennick. The one person I don't have to listen to, because he fired me. Who's that? Rennick! It's me, Kaz! McClary, what the fuck are you doing to my lifeboat? It's gone. It's just fell off into the fucking sea. You must have done it wrong! Fuck off, Rennick! You <coughs> built this fucking thing, not me! Who's with you? Uh, Roy's in the canteen. Finley and Brody are alive. Listen to me, McClary. Get your ass up to the chopper pad. Bring anyone else you can find to. And whatever you do, don't touch this stuff all over the bearer. I can't, I can't get back out. There's a safety door. The railings are all gone. For God's sake, do I have to tell you how to do everything? Give the door a tidy kick at the bottom. It'll open right enough. What about you? Just concentrate on getting to the pad. Don't worry about me. You see, Rennick? What? Well, does this mean we're okay, like? Any hard feelings? Get to fuck, McClary, and when you get back, fuck off again. I'd be happy to see you drown, but I'm not having your death on my fucking record. Go on your cell, you old fud. Get to fuck, McClary, and when you get back, fuck off again. Ha, ah, yep. He's right about give it a tidy kick. Can't believe you didn't try that in the first place. Call yourself a Scotsman. I can't get this one open. No chance. I think, though, after this, if he survives, personally speaking, I would quite happily turn myself into the police. Because, you know, a couple of years in jail, nothing compared to dealing with whatever this bollocks might be. Fire extinguisher! And a fire to extinguish. Fahrenheit O four five one. That amuses me for a number of reasons. Hello? Yes, we're all fine here now. Thank you. How are you? Who's that? It's Kaz, and it's... Kaz, What's going on? Jesus, I, I need help. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, 
What was that? Guys, I'm missing. Oh no! Ennis. Ennis! Fuck. That's alright. The uh communication system should probably go down sometime in the near future because it feels like you know we're able to communicate with people at the moment that seems reasonable and this game is going to get more and more unreasonable barriers with right trigger and drag them. Ah, this movable barrier. So we're not actually barricading a door, we're removing one. More fleshy bits! Ah, oh, fuck. I need to go around somehow. Lifeboats two, three, four, and five out of service. There are four lifeboats out of service before this shit goes down. That's. I'm sure that's not legal. Even in the 70s, I'm pretty sure that's uh, pretty horrible. Over. Christ. Don't fucking fall. Don't fucking fall. Damn fleshy underwater nonsense. What? having a, tr a bit of trouble getting the washing machine started. Damn front loading systems, they're uh, <coughs> awkward. was me, mate. <laughs> I 
I'm not scared, you're scared. Wonderful. Jesus Christ, that was close. Bog off, trots. I'm not gonna let you eat me again. Once is enough. Oh, shit. So, uh, mate. Right. Jesus, you look terrible. You're not go down those fucking stairs. What the hell is going on? Uh, trots. Uh, I think it was trots. And then it's just fucking horrible, whatever it is. Uh -huh. Just stay in here and keep quiet. Did you get to the lifeboats? Yeah. Fuck knows if they ever worked, but they definitely don't fucking work now. I had a wee chat with Renick about it while I was out there. How did that go? Badly. The cunt still reckons we should get to the bird. You think? Have you got a better idea? Cos, mate, I'm not going to make it over the deck. I'm not feeling so good, pal. I think I need my insulin. What? You're fucking kidding, Roy. No! Oh, I'm sorry to inconvenience you, Mr. Bloody Fit and Healthy. I tell you what, I'll have a little chat with my pancreas, shall I, and tell it to pull its socks off. Right, all right, fuck's sake. Could you not just eat some fucking jam or something? Oh, bloody hell, the man's a medical genius. I'll get on the blower to Dr. fucking Spock and tell him not to panic. We've solved diabetes here. It's fucking McCoy. No Spock. He was the point you heard, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can manage to get to your cabin? You've summoned there, aye? Hey? I'll get to the helipad. Make sure that cunt doesn't try to leave him without you. All right. I'm not useless. I can get there. Listen. <laughs> Uh, when, when you get to the chopper, tell Archie to radio in the support ship. We, 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 we need all the fucking help we can get, Kaz. All right, big man, all right. Just be careful, OK? My girls need their godfather in one piece. Yeah. Back out to the deck.
Ah, okay, there's clearly something horrible out here. have once been someone you knew and was working were working with Kaz. That's always a fun thought. All personnel, this is an evacuation order. Good, I wasn't clear enough the first time. That means get to the helipad now. It's your responsibility to get there and we will be leaving with or without you. So move it. That bastard thinks he can fucking leave us. This is going to be no good there. Even if it contains tea. Well, that's an electrical hazard. turn things off over here. Ah, oh, would you look at that? That's useful. No more electrical hazard. running with <laughs> maybe it's because they're scared shitless of you Christ almighty um Terrifying. Cuz. Jesus, Ennis. What are you doing up there? That thing will see you. That thing. It's Mueller, Cuz. It's fucking Mueller. Well, it was. <clears throat> Jesus. I. Christ. I don't understand, Cuz. Listen, we have to get to the helipad, alright? I tried talking to him, but he came for me. Like, he didn't care me at all. It's no him anymore, Ennis. Does that mean you do believe? Save who we can. Aye, uh, aye, uh, you're yeah, right. But the only way up is the crew lift. He won't let anyone leave. Then we need to get past him. Uh, all right. I'll see you there. But hey, then he be a hero if he hears me, all right? And then don't let him hear you. <laughs> see you at the lift. Look, we're just bog off, all right? Bog off that way. I'm going to duck in here.
I can definitely see why they've described this as the thing on an oil rig. But I think it goes beyond that. A simple sort of description. Sure, that works. Do your thing over that way. And ignore what I'm doing, please. Thank you. Okay. We're still alive. That's good. There's a left. No far now. Still alive is amazing. Dobby's a dead elf now. Thank you for the wrench. in here, but the current hoist came down and we're right crabs and are cleared now. Are, are those the hoist controls behind the fence? Maybe I can shift it. Alright. You're a good lad, Kaz. <sighs> yeah, try telling that to Suze. She's not happy. the yellow paint. Always follow the yellow paint. 
He was quite that close. Let's get him to bugger off over that way. Handles are good. Hey, that's from the National Safety Council of Australia. And don't fall. Compressed air can kill. Yes, it can. Now let's try and save Innes's ass, shall we? That's the way. Evacuation room is blocked. There's a literal do not obstruct doorway doorway there and it's obstructed. So we have to go this way, of course. Ha! 
<sighs> Helicopters in horror games are never safe. I should have kept better than to let you two out the gather. The two greatest minds of your generation united over a bucky. Nobel Prize Committee will be warming up their checkbooks already. You seriously, seriously think if you leave the country, this will all just blow over? No one's going to chase me out into the middle of the North Sea. My mum always said I'd married beneath me, Kaz, but I thought you were smarter than this. I'm fucking doing my best. No, no, you're not doing your best. What do you know about oil rings, you roaster? Good with the leg. Oh, terrace houses, Kaz, flats, maybe a shop, if you're feeling adventurous. Noise better than what? I said I'm up to the job. Oh, for, for God's sake. Roy's a cook. He's a chef. He's a cook. It's just for a few weeks. We'll just let it cool down a bit. Then I'll call Billy Chamberlain and have a word. Talk him into dropping the charges. If you run the police, I'll give you the jail for sure. <sighs> when are you leaving? Tomorrow, Mama. You are shitting me, McCleary. It's the girls' school concert. Ah, oh, man. Suze, what do you want from me? I'm just saying this, Kaz. If you leave us, if you run, if you go, then we are done. Hear me. Oh, don't say that. I'm, I'm here. Suze. Fucking hell. I'm losing my mind. Alrighty. No fucking woman. Get back inside. I wonder if there's uh, anything to check out in Rennick's office. Someone's on the phone. Hello, Rennick's office. Hello? Hi, it's Brody. Jesus, the fucking chopper, man. Oh, hi, I saw it. Did you get to the lifeboat? Aye, they're busted. Fucking kid down. Mechanisms are completely fucked, cheap bastards. Just listen, here's what I need you to do. I need you to get to the radio room and call the support ship. It's fucked, man. The fucking crane fell on it. Hello? Hello? Shit. Hey. It's Brody. Hey, I know who it is, you daft prick. Listen, that's the generator's failing. If they cut out, we'll be on emergency batteries, so the radios won't work. You're not listening. The radio room is gone. Christ, man. There's other radios, but only one set of Jennies. If they fail, you're gonna need to head down there and manually restart them. I'm not going down there again, fucking gibble. Kaz, if the lecky cuts out, you won't have a choice. You go and do it. No, Kaz, I'm busy. You need to get to the Jennies and stop them from short and got it. Aye, aye. Jennies, Brody. <coughs> oh, shit! Shit. So what was that I was saying about how communications was gonna go down next? Communications just went down. Okay, what's this? Christ, no wonder Rennick was raging. Strathclyde Police Letter. Dear Sir, I am seeking information in respect of an incident that occurred on the evening of Wednesday the 27th of August 1975 at the Duke Public House in the Deniston area of Glasgow. The incident in question, involving a serious assault, is being investigated by our crime division, who are interested in speaking to a Mr. Cameron McCleary. Cameron McCleary, okay. Who's believed to be under your supervision aboard the Beera D oil platform at this time. Cooperation in locating this individual and escorting him back to the mainland is of the utmost importance. If contact is made, please inform the GC GGD at the telephone number above and we will arrange transfer. We will make further inquiries in person at the offices of Cadal Oil Limited if you are not able to assist us. 
We look forward to hearing from you. Yours sincerely, Martin O'Hagan, Chief Superintendent. Hmm. Okay. So Kaz has been a naughty boy. But still. Ah, for... <coughs> it's Kaz, who's this? It's Davros! I'm on the lifeboat! Davros? Where is everyone? They're all gone. You, you've got to get back up here. Climb back up! I just got here! Do it again! Ah, shit! Davros, I... Davros, can you hear me? Hello? Fuck. Okay, the only way we're getting out of here is if Davros creates an army of Daleks. And then we're even more screwed. As if there's a Davros in this game. That amuses me greatly. Side. We are relatively safe. And we've just been through nearly being eaten and once being eaten by. Well, no, it was Trots that ate me. Weir was reasonably terrifying. And then the, then the helicopter. So, uh. I think that'll do for now. I'll get back to this soon. Very soon. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Anyway, farewell for the time being. I shall see you soon.